another one, guys. It's gonna be good in the smoker. What is happening, guys? It is five in the morning. I am on my way to meet up with Thomas. We are going to Folsom Lake to chase some king salmon. He just got some downriggers on his boat. A couple videos ago, you seen uh, he caught a nice oversized sturgeon out in the delta. Hopefully, we can get him on some fish today. Get us on some fish. Um, went out with my buddy Corey a couple videos ago, also to Lake Oroville. So I feel pretty confident on what we're throwing out there. I was talking with Ju Nation last night and huge shout out to him he sent me a nice little map of what to look for what depths where to troll so thank you man hopefully we get on them and uh, we'll see you guys out there pull some weight guys let's get on them I think it's a little trout. Oh! Oh, he's off! Dude! That was a, a little rainbow trout though. Oh, got her back out there. We just lost that one right at the boat. It's a nice little rainbow trout. On with another one, guys. Speedy shiner for the win. Just gotta land this one. Uh, did you mark it on the... I see him. I'd take it easy with this one. <laughs> He's coming up. Oh, he's gonna freak out again. Got him. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. Look at that, guys. On the speedy shiner. Lost that other one, but got my redemption right here. That's going to be good in the smoker. Heck yeah, dude. Well, guys, our trip got cut a little short. It started dumping on us out there. Freaking weatherman is a liar. It wasn't supposed to rain until 6 p.m. tonight, but... You know how that goes. We got to fish for about two hours. I'm on the Folsom Lake fishing report page and I see guys skunk out there all the time. So for our first time out there, two fish to the boat, that's a win in my book. So unfortunately didn't get to fish where JU recommended we fish to get on some kings. It got a little bit too choppy and we turned around and headed back in. But next time we're definitely gonna go out there and try that. We didn't get any fish using the downriggers, but I'll show you what I got those rainbow trout on. I got a barrel swivel here connected to my main line uh, with 15 pound fluorocarbon going down to another barrel swivel. And then I got this barrel swivel here connected to 10 pound fluorocarbon. Ugh. 10 pound fluorocarbon that's what I meant to say fluorocarbon line P line also and then the speedy shiner right here and I don't know you guys drop a comment if you uh, do this a different way I'm new to this so this is just what I use today so I know for steelhead at least I do a lot of fishing for steelhead they're very line shy so I don't know, I'm using 15 up here. This is probably useless. I can probably go without this and just go straight 10 pound with about like a four foot leader on there. But let me know what you guys think. This is just what I was using today. I do like all the barrel swivels there though because I noticed when the wind was blowing on the line, it does not twist the line up at all. All these, these are really good barrel swivels. They spin super fast, super good, so. 
maybe it worked in my favor but yeah that's what i was using today guys no weight no nothing just just this right here and i let it out about 60 yards behind the boat just long lined it and that's what got those two rainbow trout to the boats well that concludes today's video that was our experience out at Folsom Lake for the first time. Hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys out there on the next one. Later.